Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls I Arena. Our High Elven Mage, Erendil, is now deep in the lands of the Wood Elves. We are here in the city-state of Eldenroot, seeking information about the Elden Grove. Now, I've already taken care of some minor repairs up here at Legolas's quality merchandise, and Legolas did an excellent job repairing our buckler, our silver buckler of willpower, as well as our dwarven dagger of strength, which is now my secondary dagger because we recently acquired a mithril dagger of luck. So that brings our luck up to 70, and all of our stats are looking quite good, although of course it would be nice to uh, boost our strength a bit more if we can in the near future. Anyway, let's go ahead and get some rumors. Sassandra Forest Pool. Where is the Elden Grove? Few know of the legendary Elden Grove. Take your questions to the palace. The queen will perhaps be able to help you on your quest. Okay. Good to know. Any general rumors? The prophet I see tells me that Hammerfell will be decimated by plague early next year. Okay. And uh, one final thing. Uh, where is the palace? Northeast. Okay. We'll head that way directly. This is a lovely place. Valen Wood in general is just lovely this time of year. Let's see if we can get a clearer hint of exactly where we should go. Right up there, okay. Enclave of Justice. And finally here, the palace. Let's see if we can catch a glimpse of it. <laughs> there seem to be people back there. Trying to get me to talk to that person, that's funny. Who are you? Dessa River Hollow, a weaver. Um, where is the palace? Oh, it's very near. Okay. Thank you for marking it on our map. Now, hopefully, we can uh, select these gates here. You walk into the Queen's audience chamber, noticing the many fine trappings and expensive furniture that decorate the area. The warm spring air wafts through an open window, bringing along with it the scent of newly budding flowers and fresh green grass. Greetings, fair queen. You ask us for the location of the Elven Grove, birthplace of the sacred first tree. Such knowledge has a price. Over the past year, we have seen our beautiful Valenwood change. Ports have become unsafe for travelers. Others have turned dark and sinister, leaching the very earth blood from the soil. Alarion, greatest of our lore masters, found bodies of our people sucked dry of all fluid. They lay wasted, living dead that had no memories of their former existence. Sadly, they had to be destroyed. Ten of our rangers left to search through the Valenwood forests, hoping for a clue to this mystery. Two months later, their severed heads were delivered to us by an emissary of someone who calls herself Selim, High Priestess of Shagrath, the God of Spiders. 
she delivered to us an ultimatum. Surrender Valenwood, or die. We are not a fighting people, and have no standing army. We prefer to dwell here amongst the trees and Mother Earth, rejoicing in the commune of the land. We cannot stand against Selene and her spider warriors. I fear an end to my people and our way of life. You seem to be a strong and formidable adventurer. I implore you, put an end to her threat against us. I will inscribe on your map the location her emissary referred to as Selene's Web, site of our supposed surrender. Somewhere in those dark corridors lies the one thing that can safeguard us from her greed. Somewhere in her fortress lies her heart. It is said to be a great jewel into which she has infused her life force. If you bring us this jewel, she would dare not attack us with her life in the balance. If you are successful, we will share with you the sacred knowledge of the Elden Grove. Will you help us? Yes, of course. You are truly a compassionate soul. Know this, Selene's web lies near the city of Eldenwood. I pray be careful. She is a powerful sorceress who consorts with the undead. I wish thee luck on thy quest. Queen Alandra inscribes the location of Selene's web onto your map. Well, thank you very much. And good day to you. I have nothing further to discuss. Okay then. We'll go ahead and head out. Yes, it is very close. So we'll head right over here to Celine's Web. One day of travel. This dank, moldy corridor leads into Selene's web. The smell of wet earth lingers in the air. Not a particularly pleasant place, apparently. We're already shielded. We should be in pretty good shape for any battles to come. We need not fear spiders too much, for we are immune to paralysis. But we do not know what else might await us here. I do like this texture on the walls here. Very cool. And we have a different material here. Like they brought in clay bricks from somewhere. Oh, an ore. Easily dispatched. Oh. 
so Celine has many orcs in her employ. Or allied with her for some reason. What if we were to, say, destroy this little wall here? Ah, uh -huh. never mind. <laughs> we are to the edge of the dungeon. Wolves. some strange text that suddenly showed up there. <laughs> ah, what is that all about? Oh my, I hope nothing has gone particularly buggy in my game here. Is that a bug common to everyone when they reach this spot? Or has something funky happened with my particular game? I'm not sure. on. And there we see our first spider. Before you lies a small arena, surrounded by water. Something glitters on the stones of one island. Okay, so it's referring to this space back here. And uh, of course we will fully explore that soon. But I am curious to check out this little space first. It seems they assumed that most players would enter that area from this direction first. that's a difficult design choice when you're creating areas that will spawn certain pieces of text. There could of course be better ways of handling that, especially nowadays. I'm sure in their time they were 
doing the best they felt they could under their circumstances. Seems our shielding might be gone. stone there. And more raw, unworked. Explore this area now. Let's see what it is that glitters on one of the islands. There certainly seems to be a fair amount of treasure on multiple islands here. See how well our mithril dagger holds up. It should last a long, a good long while. Too special. Aha, Minotaur. <laughs> well, hello there. Funny how the z-depth of their graphics sometimes wouldn't work quite like it should, like when we were seeing the corpse of that minotaur behind it as if it were in front of it. This graphics engine they developed certainly had some quirks. But it has a lovely old-fashioned charm all its own. I'm resting now. No such luck. Where is this enemy? Crystal, Battle Axe, and Playtown.
more spiders. Almost missed that. That's what the hint about glittering was all about. The gold key. Wow, we made that jump. Impressive, hey Rindy. You have survived the test's most dire. Continue along this path, however, and you will face such things as to make your very heart freeze. I will save you the ordeal for my servants approach you even now from your mangled corpse. I will take what is mine! Hmm. I was thinking I was due for a vision from him. It finally came. This servant he sent was not very effective. Ah, the plate helm we got is enchanted, that's nice. Although we really don't need to worry too much about gold anymore. We have plenty. Over a hundred and eight thousand. So that was a night blade. We are still shielded. Oops. And now we're healed. So we'll continue to more fully explore this dank and dreary place. We have yet another new texture. That one's pretty cool too. Walls of cobblestone or something like that. <laughs> more minotaurs. Roots occasionally make their way through the ceiling above us. Let's 
such as right here. <laughs> um, well, where do we want to explore now? We'll go back this way and south. and healthy. What is that ominous sound? What does that portend? Hopefully just the release of more spiders. As long as there aren't too many of them, we need fear. this music. Simple but very effective. Pretty much all the music and sound effects in this game I would describe that way. Simple but very effective. And most of the graphics too. Only a few enemies that I find a little bit silly looking, but they're not too bad. Hmm, more 
orcs. Come on. Come on out. stuck in the geometry. But we can jump out. Ah, again we have this garbled text, that's really unfortunate. In fact, I might take just a moment to look up whether that is a known bug. So it does say on the UASP website, there are several locations in Celine's web that will show the text A, arrow, 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 A, which is sometimes accompanied with a gong and low choir sound effect. Okay, that's all it has to say. So presumably, presumably they do not know what that text was meant to say. I wonder what, I wonder if there's any record or anyone yet living who remembers what that text was meant to say there. It's a bit unfortunate, but uh, not the end of the world. Presumably just some interesting flavor to add about things that are seen, heard, or smelled here in this location. like that sound effect. A raised platform. I wonder if it's 100% safe to rest here. seems to be. We now have a fresh shield. And let's go ahead and use some, well, we could use some pass wall. I wonder, though, if this might be the region where we're meant to use a key to access it. Hard to say. But hey, Arendil does not care. Arendil is going to go ahead and get through this way. Could be dangerous. 
this or they could just be normal wolves. They haven't been casting any spells or ranged attacks. Just normal wolves. It is kind of a pity to kill such lovely creatures. But we have no choice. No other reasonable choice, anyway. As far as Arendil can see. I guess we... I guess we could go invisible for a while. Hello, spider. Okay, so those rooms we've already been into. Where to now? First, I will more fully explore this area down south. This interesting pool of water. Skeletons, eh? Perhaps I should make more use of my spells and not wear out my daggers too much. Hmm. <laughs> Got him. One thing I do wish about this game is that I wish it wasn't quite so awkward when it comes to clicking on things. Controls in general, of course, can be a little bit janky, but 
you know, what particularly annoys me is sometimes the jumping controls and mechanics, and sometimes just attempting to click on things in general. It sometimes seems to take a while or to be overly picky of the exact distance or angle from which you're clicking on something. But I can deal with that. This game simply requires you to have just a tiny bit more patience than the average game. We better drop a few things. Ominous. will mark where we found the key. Just for fun. More wolfies. So far, Celine's web does not seem to be too much of a challenge. But I don't like that sound. Ah, uh, hello, cool. Hmm. I'm trying to cast fire on it, I'm not sure if it's working very well. There we go, finally. Good. No diseases, thankfully.
who's opening that door? Oh, wolf. Well, that's impressive. Oh, somehow I put my weapon away. Let's go ahead and uh, break through some walls. Oops. That is not what I meant to do. <laughs> I'd accidentally recast the fire spell, and then I cast... The destroy wall spell. And it's still showing pick spell target for the fire, presumably. That's interesting. So I wonder if I can still cast fire on something as soon as another enemy shows up. cast fire there against the spider, but it just had a save against the spell or something, it didn't work. Presumably. Okay, time for a fire blast. And again, 
not enough spell points. Well, let's go ahead and drink some potions. I have so many of those, and I've rarely used them. in this nook. Aha, uh -huh. hello. A ghost of some kind. I forget exactly what these are called. It might be a wraith, I'm not sure. Oh, got it. Some kind of wraith or specter or ghost. Fire lingering there. So I'll recast our shield. Whoops. Oh gosh, I keep doing the wrong thing. <laughs> Did not mean to cast that spell. Arcane shield three. Perfect. this interesting looking area. Getting into the southwest corner of the dungeon.
And here we have a new level of experience, level 14. Five points, not bad, we'll stick with that. Increase strength. Ah, uh, now we have damage plus two, very nice. Spider, my old friend. Okay then. Oh. Sure. We will enter these dank tunnels. These funky, funky tunnels. See how they like a frost blast. Not very much. Whoops. There we go. The chittering of spiders. Whoopsie. Now, I don't recall when you cancel a spell, does it bring back your magicka? Yes, it does. Good. So, right clicking cancels the spell. I'd forgotten about that. Thank you. 
we briefly saw through the ceiling there. That was pretty fun. Probably didn't feel good on Arendelle's head, however. Just another den of spiders? It would seem so. Nothing too special to find here. It would be fun if there was a collection of eggs we could crush. But, uh, of course, this game does not get too elaborate with stuff like that. Mating dens, no light or noise. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So we had invaded some mating dens. And Celine has some strict rules for the area. Well, just because she said that, we better get some light going, shall we? Let's, uh... There we go. Light things up a little bit more. Even though I'm not sure if we're going into any more mating dens at this moment. But it's possible. I suppose this specter may not appreciate. Ah, uh, it's a ghost indeed. Okay, this one's a ghost. The other one we saw was a bit different though. This one's a standard ghost. The other one... Again, might be called a wraith, something like that. A ring. Presumably not one ring to rule them all. Ah, there we have. Stairways. Okay. Oddly, this small passage bears marks of heavy use. This says mating dens, and here we have seen heavy use. Okay,
Ah, hello, mage. First, oh no. Oops, no, that's not what I meant to do. Let's go ahead and cast. Your curse. Well, first of all, let me see. So it just says cursed, it doesn't offer any additional details. So we're back to being healthy and uncursed now. That's good. Nice try, Nightblade. Or spell sword. Our mithril blade can hurt ghosts and presumably all other forms of undead. Well, I'm not 100% sure about that. I don't recall what it takes to damage liches, for example. I also can't seem to recall, does this game include vampires? Daggerfall definitely does, but I don't remember... I don't remember if I've ever seen one in Arena.
Actually, let's do some wall destroying shenanigans. Oops, I picked the wrong spot. That's okay. You didn't expect to see me here, did you, Orc? Did I miss anything here? I don't think so. No, I didn't miss anything there. Alright. Might as well check here just in case. The golden lock. Uh -huh. The open door of the gold key. Okay, well, I'm going to double check one more spot here. Then we'll head down. So, this, yeah, this little nook. It's the only spot we hadn't checked yet, so, uh, yeah, we should be good to go now. I mean, there might be a few other areas here and there that we hadn't fully explored on this floor. Let's see. Actually, we have been Pretty thorough. I don't think we missed anything. And the golden drake proceeds through the door of the golden lock. And soon, down we shall go. This is beautiful. <laughs> Fascinating stonework. And something like turquoise.
getting attacked already. I believe that's a Minotaur. Perhaps we'll head north for a bit. Let's go ahead and create a shortcut for ourselves. as well open a path back to the stairs. This is a very strange structure indeed.
seems like an environment more suitable to insects and spiders than to humans, elves, and the like. Who is this Selene character? Where is she from, and what is she all about? Ooh, very interesting color pattern in the stone blocks in these walls. Oops, <laughs> didn't mean to click that. Some poor soul met their end here. Who's opening doors around here? Hmm. 
Oh, hello. It's a pity to destroy such fine stonework, but so it goes. gap up there. We probably can't even jump into that, can we? No, sir. This felt relatively pointless, and that's okay. Let's just move on. Perhaps we should take advantage of one of these nooks to do a little resting.
Time for another shortcut. And more fire. Quite a maze of twisty little passages. This game doesn't seem to make very extensive use of secret doors. You know, they do occur occasionally, but uh, not as often as I initially expected. We haven't seen any in this dungeon so far. For example, uh oh, what's getting me? Something attacked me. Wait, <laughs> where did that attack come from? Through a wall somehow. It's very strange. Another poor dead soul. So, will there be anything interesting here? Who knows? Save ourselves some time.
<laughs> well, she certainly is not making it easy to find this precious gem. I think that's what they called it. The ruler of Elden Root has sent you to get a gem called the Heart of Selene has marked your map of Valenwood with the location of Selene's web. Yep. It's a gem of some kind. Well, this has felt like a bit of a waste of time, but we'll have some fun with it. And of course we have gained some experience and so forth, at the very least. A maze of twisty little passages. All alike. Something like that is a statement from the original text adventure game, Colossal Cave Adventure. It had that phrase, or one very similar to it, that would show up in a tricky spot. I might have to make some videos about that game and some other text adventures at some point, as well as some classic point-and-click graphical adventures. Lots of great games out there. than new. My absolute favorite when it comes to the adventure genre is Quest for Glory 1, also known as Hero's Quest. It's kind of an RPG adventure hybrid and I prefer the original EGA version that includes a text parser. Some people don't like text parsers, but I think when done well, they can be a lot of fun. It adds to the uh, mystery and the wonderful sense of discovery when you happen to type the right things. And uh, it's just fun to think creatively about what sorts of things you might want to try typing. guys are tiresome. Come on. 
There we go. Okay. Is that lava up ahead? Very interesting structure here. Some kind of dark stone, possibly obsidian. Or ebony ore. The door before you has a diamond studded lock. A magically held lock. Okay. Well, door with a diamond studded lock, I am going to try to open you with magic. Let's go ahead. enemies nearby, however. I don't think I have enough Magicka to cast open. Yes, I do. Ah, that worked! <laughs> so yeah, you don't need the key. Whether you use Pass Wall or Destroy Wall, as I've called it, or use an open spell. Wielders of magic can get through this place much easier than others. Alright, so that appears to be the gem right there. You have found the jewel, the so-called heart of Selene, that will protect the people of Elden Root. You have only to bring it to the ruler there. Beautiful. I'm not sure why the triumphant fanfare seemed a bit muted there. That's interesting. And indeed, we do have some lava here. <laughs> Heart of Selene. And I don't mean Selene Dion. So let's go ahead and get out of here. So I'll explore up here a tiny bit. Uh -huh. How about a shock blast? Oh yeah, not enough spell points.
So there is a lot more we could explore here if we wanted to. I'm just curious enough that I'm willing to at least go down this long hallway. Sure enough, it's just a long hallway. Enemies nearby, huh? Maybe I can rest way down here. Oh my. Okay, this is bad. Oh. Do a little save real quick. There's a little dust here, and the footprints that exist are those of human always running toward this wall and jumping. Uh, so, what are these? These are wraiths. Okay. I can slay them with Mithril. Hi! Wow. Never seen an enemy quite like you, barbarian. Well, I'm sorry, good sir. But you have chosen to attack me, and I must defend myself. Keep your club to yourself. Nice beard, though. And uh, fine taste in clothing. Okay, that does it. How do you like fire? Not enough spell points. Well, that fire still didn't kill him. You are quite resilient, aren't you? For a man of little armor. Oh my. It's gone through my shielding. This is not good. Give myself a little bit more shielding now. Good. If 
finally gone. Many footprints of people running toward this wall and jumping. Very fun. So let me guess. Here is where they have the diamond key. If you can even click on it. That's the real challenge. Oh, diamond key, sure enough. And would it be foolish for me to try to rest in here? Probably. Well, let's do it anyway. Nope, enemies nearby. Oh, hello. Another barbarian. Let's go ahead and store more power. see if this barbarian enjoys being shot. This one doesn't seem to be holding a weapon, that's pretty funny. Katana. Mithril dagger is worn, but can still get some use. Hmm. Who is casting spells at me? Aha! Homunculus, I think, is what this is called. Oh my. Might find this shocking. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, that does it. Invisibility. How's it going, Barbarian? Nice hair. <laughs> and another one. Spider, spider. Of course, lots of spiders. Hmm. 
quite a web indeed. For your average adventurer, this would be a very perilous place indeed, a very foolish place to enter. As well, Castle of Helium, too. Danger. Training area. Training area. I wonder where specifically they're referring to. The area south of me, perhaps? Don't want to do too much fooling around. We've got the gem we came for. Might as well head back to Elden Root. Celine's heart. You know, I might do a tiny bit of additional exploring, but not too much. I don't need to be a completionist about all this. get just a taste of what else there is here to potentially explore. take a brief look at what some of this area is like. Hmm.
now head west and south back toward the stairs. So you can get away with resting here. Greetings, Skellington. Sir Skellington.
Fortify speed. So we're not invisible anymore. And here we go. We are done. We'll just save one more time. We'll go back to Elden Root. It is Sundus, sixth of second seed in the year Third Era 391. You enter Eldenroot, Wood Elven City near the center of Aelinwood. The elves here seem friendly and you are hailed and welcome. You overhear that the city-state's commerce is going well. Oh gosh. I hope that diamond key symbol is not going to haunt us forever. <laughs> that may have been a mistake to uh, pick that up after we'd already opened that door. But uh, we can look into that later. For now, let's go back to the palace. Inside the audience chamber of Ulandra, Queen of Eldenroot, the new sprouts of spring die young, and the perfume of the fresh blossom turns to a sickly stench. Ulandra is rumored to have angered the city-state oracle, who placed upon the queen a curse of poor health. The political change has been very noticeable in such a city-state, where tradition is of highest importance. Well, my queen, we have come back successful. I and my people owe a debt we cannot begin to pay, Eirendil. You have given us a new hope, and for that we are eternally grateful. Come and stand before me. Queen Alondra gently unrolls an ancient scroll, then takes a light feather pen and inscribes the location of the Elden Grove, somewhere in the Valenwood province, onto your map. Well, thank you very much, queen. I have nothing further to discuss. Very well. We shall be on our way. And that does it for today's gameplay session. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more. Consider supporting me at patreon.com slash the drake. And uh, as always, take excellent care of yourself and everyone around you. I will see you next time.